Welcome, my dear fellow so I got nice Cage Warriors 169 card ahead of us. That is going to be brutally good. If you're asking me, this Cage Warriors card has to be amazing, top notch, and I'm really, really looking uh, forward to it. Many high level names are uh, heading our way, many high level names are going to participate and uh, we are going to see how this plays out now here are my picks and expectations giovanni scott versus john matos uh gonna go with scott to win or no distance that is going to be my official pick for that one i think both of these guys will be looking to finish the fight and uh, i think this is actually going to be very very entertaining to watch i like those guys who tend to prove their values to to the promotions head uh, liners and the main guys in the promotion and uh, i'm really willing to watch uh, those type of fights now people are going to say that, that these two are technical fighters as well Yes, they are, but I have a feeling they will be fishing for a knockout in this fight. I actually have a very good faith and belief that they will be looking to finish. Joshua and Vardy versus Mariusz Mikolajewski. I um, got Mikolajewski to win. Next one is uh, going to be the combat between Tariq Pell and Sean uh, Fraser. Pell to win. Next one, uh, Tommy Bruning versus Cesare Simon Kevin. Ha! Huh. Don't know much about Tommy, honestly. That kind of scares the shit out of me. I'm gonna go with Tommy to win. Tommy to win or no distance. I don't know much about him. That kind of scares the shit out of me. Tom Chrissy versus Amir Malikpur. I'm gonna go with Chris to win. Okay, Amir's fans criticize me. I don't give a fuck. Aaron Johnson versus Ermil Xhaferi. Uh, hmm. Such a tough fight to call. No distance for Johnson, but Xhaferi is good. No distance for Johnson to win, but Xhaferi is a good fighter. Michel Goudé versus uh, Angus Hewitt. Angus Hewitt is tough, but I believe uh, Michel is going to win. So, Michel to win. Um, I was impressed with Hewitt's uh, wrestling when I was watching previously. Jimmy Quinn versus Johan Salvador. I've got Jimmy to win. Next one is uh, going to be the combat between Thomas Paul and Dimitri Salime. Uh, no distance or Thomas to win. No distance or Thomas to win. Next one is uh, Jamie Richardson versus Sully Santalakti. Jamie Richardson likes to take part in long wars, technical fights and... Uh, I believe over 2.5 is a good call or uh, Jamie to win, but this Finnish competitor is good. I believe this goes the distance. Darren Stewart versus Carlos Pereira. I've got Darren to win. Pereira has a lot of experience, but I think Stewart is a former UFC name for a reason. Will Curry versus Leon Aliu. Will Curry surprised us on many occasions in the past, so I'm gonna go with fight starts round three. Side call Curry to win, but could go either way, really. Ali is not a guy to underestimate. Loner Kavanaugh uh, will be fighting Sean Marcos uh, da Silva. Uh, Loner Kavanaugh <laughs> destroyed David Escarano recently, and uh, I think uh, da Silva shouldn't be much of a challenge to him, so Kavanaugh to win. And finally, the main event of the evening, Jordan Vucenic versus Simone Dana. Simone Dana has a lot of uh, power under his belt, fighting out of Rome, Italy. 
this guy lost to my teammate Dennis Jurakic via first round KO, lost to Brian Moore, but then he bounced back, man. Itai Tretner, Sandro Bebrashvili, Albrecht Diaz, he's such a great fighter, man. But I think I think the epidemic going to win. So I'm saying Vukšanić to win. That is my final call for this one. Good luck, fellas.